And so our freezing midnight war came to an end of sorts. Accept your fate, Christmas thieves. You've nowhere left to run. Now identify yourselves. Merry Christmas. Oh. You won't get to go home any quicker by looking sad. What are your names? Merry. Cackle. Merry Christmas. Oh dear God. Miro and Kaku. That's all. Hmm. Why did you two do all this? Quite frankly, I don't give a hoot about Christmas, and as far as I'm concerned, it's just so much capitalist, commercialized rubbish. But there are plenty of birds who really care about it. Buddhist. <laughs> It's not nice to ruin their fun. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas is all Miru and Kaku have. Oh. Oh. Merry Christmas. Christmas is in grand in the Miru and Kaku's very instant. Okay, I'm losing the cuteness factor here. Don't do this to me, gay. <laughs> Oh god. So they went in uh -oh. space. Oh my dear. I, are I? we back at the medical center? I think I'm narrating this, but I think we were right about them being Murder Beak's experiments. Oh yeah, god. Yeah, this sounds like a third person <laughs> sort of thing. They told Miller and Kaku that were never meant to be born. No one was to give them life. But they were born. On Christmas Eve. Yeah, here we are. No, I'm changing my mind. I don't think this is them. Uh, I think this is just a default narrator. Budgie, wanna wanna? All right. Because they weren't meant to be born, they had to be removed. So Miru and Kaku were abandoned. <laughs> Miro and Kaku aren't real. Miro and Kaku are alive. But Miro and Kaku are different. Maybe this is... I can't tell. I'm just gonna roll with it. <laughs> okay. So, Miro and Kaku couldn't be put outside. But Miro and Kaku couldn't stay. So, all right, this is getting excessive. <laughs> so Miro and Kaku were going to be burned. Like all good marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> so Miro and Kaku said goodbye. Oh my God. Ah, this is so sad. <laughs> Miro and Kaku said goodbye to their home. I know I should have expected mood whiplash from the person who brought us BBL, but, but, my god! I thought they looked more like some sort of strange mammals than like birds, but I never would have guessed that they had a backstory like that. Yeah, that's pretty much what we just said, thanks. Yeah. <sighs> it's too cruel, Doctor. To create pitiful hybrid beings in your mad scientist experiments, and then try to kill them. Maybe you felt your creation violated the laws of nature. But artificial creatures are still alive, just like us. They have the right to... Please, do not misunderstand. I am not responsible for their creation. Dun dun dun... What? He's not? I thought I was being clever, but I think I've made a terrible mistake. Again, the game predicts us all. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Miru and Kaku's daddy was a merry daddy! He liked puddles! Oh, Pinkie no. Pie? <laughs> Merry! Merry Christmas! 
Travel celebrated all through December, especially Christmas. Please tell me they aren't my little siblings. <laughs> 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 like in Ryota's little siblings, like Ryuji made them. <laughs> they look excited to the point of getting their memories mixed up. It is a story from long ago. An accident in a certain lab caused the birth of two hybrid life forms. None of the researchers had expected their creation. At first, the new life forms were hoped to hold great scientific value, but they soon proved to be almost identical to existing birds. Yes, those guys are almost identical to existing birds. The <laughs> arms and legs were definitely a problem. <laughs> Once the investigation was complete, they were to be disposed of. But there was one researcher who acted irresponsibly. The researcher was charged with taking care of them. May I ask what you intend to do with them? Do you need to ask? They will be tried in the court of law, naturally. But they're unidentified creatures born of the excesses of modern science. Can they even have trials? The law only covers humans and birds. Even if they look like birds, I don't think they can. So then... They do not have the right to be tried by law. All they can do is wait to be culled. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Objection! <laughs> they may have done some bad things, but nobody was badly injured. The worst was Yuya's burn, and he smelled delicious. We can't just kill them. <laughs> I have a proposal, Mr. Shirogane. Let me eat them. <laughs> yes, Dr. Murabeeks. Shall I take them? Oh god, no! <laughs> Don't do it, no! You would! You wouldn't! We can't, Sakuya! Giving them to- Giving them to him is sending you- Giving them to him is sending- I can't do this. <laughs> giving them to him is sending them to a fate worse than death, no matter how you look at it. Please. Do not be so agitated. I have no intention of harming them. I'll just keep them in a fridge for a while. <laughs> just yet. <laughs> oh my god. In other words, you probably will later. My video camera is in the shop. I have to wait for it to be repaired. <laughs> if you are willing to take them in, sir, I have numerous objections. <laughs> he even said just yet. Like... <laughs> Be respectful towards Dr. Murderbeaks, you two rap scallions. Uh, Merry Christmas! We're going to die! <laughs> <laughs> and make sure to tell us where you hid Mr. McBeak's Christmas tree, okay? Merry Christmas! He's gonna torture the information out of us! <laughs> <laughs> And so, with the help of Dr. Murderbeaks and Yuya, we captured the Christmas thieves, Miru and Kaku. No one need fear for their decorations again. They Wait, can no, rest that's not the ending. That's not a happy ending, no! Yeah, they, they can rest securely in the knowledge that their Christmas decorations are being made safe by the fact that these childlike creatures are held in a lab by Dr. Murderbeaks! <laughs> that's not... That's not but, Newtonian. But why was the doctor so happy to help? He didn't even ask for compensation. Uh, Normally he would have asked for something. He did! Fresh like meat! Uh, oh! <laughs> I can't bring myself to do this. <laughs> that will be one leg, please. 
No! Maybe it was his idea of a Christmas present. To himself. Oh, Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't oh. ready for that! 3 a.m. already? That's way too early. <laughs> we got them to tell us where the stolen trees are, and so I should go home to eat udon and sleep. If I'm lucky, I'll, ma I'll make it to sleep by six. <laughs> Miru. Kaku. You still have your caretaker rings from the lab, yes? Merry Christmas! Caretaker, caretaker, look! Let me see. Dun, dun, dun! Oh, brother. I knew it. Damn it, Dad. You. <laughs> huh. You never did leave anything behind but trouble. Oh, brother. <laughs> Mr. McBeaks. We got your, we got Christmas, your Christmas tree, tree back. back. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I can imagine them saying that together. Oh, my. Oh, so, sorry, that's not my voice. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my. Thank you. Uh, it really is calming to look at, isn't it? Yes, I feel so much calmer now. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so glad yours is intact. And not blown to smithereens. <laughs> I was about to say that when nearly... <laughs> Sokuyas was completely incinerated. At least the big tree Sokuya had at home was saved. I guess that's some sort of consolation. Yeah, although his house has crumbled around it. <laughs> and that's the end of the investigation. Yeah, we all have completely enough information to be satisfied with what happened here. <laughs> I'm looking forward to working here over the break. Oh, that doctor. <laughs> but of course, I am pleased to have you. By the way, do you have a maid outfit I could switch into? <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. I got the rest of the trees back to their owners, and now I'm feeling cheerful. Christmas only comes once a year. I want to spend it having fun with every birdie. Winter break starts tomorrow, too. I'm excited just thinking about it. What happened to Miru and Kaku, anyway? Did the, the doctor one... take them to his house? See, you weren't supposed to ask that question now. You were supposed to ask that before you gave them to him. <laughs> <laughs> this seems pretty cute. Dr. Murderbeak's living with the seasonal mascot characters. I have one wisdom and nothing could possibly go wrong. Yeah, I, I envy her imagination if that's what she's picturing. <laughs> no, it, it's too surreal. I can't imagine it. I do wonder, though. I think I'll ask the doctor before break starts. Excuse me. Uh <laughs> Did not see that coming. I think this is a good sign. <laughs> Doctor, huh? you have two delicious looking roast turkeys on your desk. <laughs> <laughs> I think we walked into the wrong room. <laughs> what? The infirmary is transformed. S sir, what happened? Are you actually even more enthusiastic about Christmas than Sakuya? I have no fondness for superstition. I'm so happy right now. This is worth the five dollars right here. <laughs> have I not mentioned before? The doctor is transformed too. Maybe it's protective camouflage. <laughs> Sir, what happened to you? Don't tell me you finally got that lobotomy! <laughs> These little bastards always give me another as soon as I've taken it off. Did anyone else think he was talking about lobotomies there? <laughs> <laughs> it is easier to work if I leave it on. 
They? So, Miru and Kaku are... Still alive? Merry Christmas! <laughs> They're here! You're keeping them in here, sir? Yes. They would only get in the way at my house. Try to say that with a little more disdain in your voice. <laughs> they would be putting hats on all my through. <laughs> they would be putting hats on all of my corpses. <laughs> <laughs> Not that they don't get in the way here. Grumpy as usual. He seems to be putting up with them so far, but he hardly looks happy about it. I wouldn't count on their heads staying attached for much longer. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. <laughs> no, really, I really wouldn't count on that. <laughs> they should calm down after the new year. They are mostly excited by Christmas, after all. You don't think you're pushing yourself too hard, sir. What do you mean? Maybe I'm imagining it, but... You don't quite look like you mean it, sir. <laughs> it is your imagination. It is tiring to have them in here all the time. Perhaps I should make a hutch for them outside. It doesn't look like he's using them for research. What is he thinking? He's treating them awfully nicely, though. I've never seen him act that nice. Maybe he likes cute animals. If he does, he's hiding it awfully well. <laughs> he loves them. They're delicious. <laughs> I'm going home now, Doctor. Thank you for everything this year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. <sighs> Thank you. Bah humbug. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas! Yay! 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 Oh, that's cute. Aww. Good lord. So, what the hell just happened? <laughs> am I the only one staring in the face the, the obvious continuity problem of here we are between the events of the first game and these annoying birds are in his lab and they aren't there in the other semesters that we've already seen? Oh, well, that's not a continuity problem. It just means that uh, you he, know, let he, he let them go. He let them go. He let them go. I'm not go. even yes. bothering with continuity anymore. <laughs> continuity does not exist. Well, yes, I, 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 I'm more thinking he, 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 he found he found some use for them. He found some way to make them stop bothering him. I, I, I like David's answer. We'll stick with that. Yes. My ability to be surprised by this game has been suddenly regained. All I know is that Moa and Nazarene have easily earned our $5 already, and that's just one story. I think there are, like, what, three to go? <laughs> I think yeah, there's, so. there's three more. And um, there's probably some extra content, too. 